our first stop, the wardrobe department. Why is it you think the spirits brought us here first? Well, makes a lot of sense why many people would say that this is where the accident was caused. With that injured stuntman, Brent Backflip. That's exactly right. Well, say more, say more. Well, wouldn't like to point fingers, Wayne. But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd point all eight of mine and my thumbs squarely at Marie Murphy. The costume designer. The very same. In this room, Wayne, at that desk, probably, she sat there making the costumes for the show. The costume with a harness that failed and plunged an innocent man to his death. Brent Backflip didn't die, though, did he? Well, he, he, he didn't die, no, 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 no. But the same plunge to his death sounds better than saying plunge to multiple comminuted fractures. And what do you think happened to the harness, Patrick? Well, I wouldn't like to speculate, Wade. But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd say poor workmanship, laziness, full hardiness. Basically, she dropped the ball. And the ball was a man. Such a small thing can have dire consequences. A seemingly insignificant thing like the costume girl can mean life or death. Absolutely. Look, look, we all make mistakes. But sometimes mistakes cost lives. Or in this case, legs. We have Dally and Patrick, the dead. Urge us forward. Give us a sign. Hello, spirit. Are you there? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's there, is it? It was a, a quiet one. All right. We're, uh, this way. Okay. <laughs> Amongst a maze of objects, furniture, sets, the prop store. Dear, please come in, Mr. Bannon. It's uh, pretty dusty in here, Wayne. Well, yeah, that's because it's been unused for decades, ever since the failure of your father's show. Ooh. The spirits wish me to ask you, what do you know about a Mr. Sloan? Mr. Sloan, uh... Don't know much, really. Uh, Dad didn't really mention him. It was all Brent this, backflip that. Really? Interesting. Sergeant Cedric Sloan served in the military before winding up in television. And while most of his service was classified, there have been rumours that he was never truly adjusted to civilian life and he resented the frivolous lifestyles of the thespian elite. Perhaps Mr. Bannon. The stories of a disgruntled prop master sabotaging the climactic scenes of the show they hold merit. So hold up, what you're saying is that this Mr. Sloan could be behind Brent Backflip's accident, his shattered legs and his shattered career. Too soon to say, Mr. Bannon. But do not fear. With the help of the spirits, we shall all cover the truth. That, I think. They're sending us a message now. I, I don't see any messages. Well, that's because you don't have the sensitivity as I do, Mr. Bannon. And though the message was small, I caught it. I know where he wants us to go next. This way. Come on. <laughs> He wanted to bring us to stage, the scene of the accident. How are you feeling? I'll be honest, Wayne, I'm in shock. Well, it's quite overwhelming to stand where misfortune stood, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not that. It's just... Look! The house that Bannon built. In this very room, a crew member... Brent Backflip. That's it, Brent Backflip fell during a stunt that went mysteriously wrong. Surely the spirits will lead us to the truth. Yeah, the truth is certainly vital to this process. Yes, I sense a lot of conflict. Hey, you can say that again, mate. Uh, a walking conflict based on the little uh, my father told me. Uh, he was a drinker. Yeah, alcohol? Mainly, yes. By all accounts, he played by his own rules. A criminal record as long as we are. Wow, that long? Yeah, that long. 
My father knew he was a Roman, but he hired him anyway for his immaculate moustache and his impeccable pecs. A decision he stood firmly by. As I suspected. Conflict. The energy is staring around us, Patrick. It's as if we've angered it. Is it? We are your servants, wispy ones. Lead us closer to the truth. They stare. They stare. Guide us, spirits, and we shall be gone. Yeah, oh, that's it. No, uh, this way. Yep. <laughs> I can feel a palpable energy here, pervasive, poignant... Perfunctory? Uh, yeah, uh, precisely. Uh, can you feel that? This presence? It's like an amalgamation of the first tragedy that befell your father's final show. <gasps> ah. Specifically, the fate of our poor stunman. Such a terrible shame what happened to him. Can you feel the energy, Patrick? I mean, I can mean, feel something, but I think it's probably all this dust that we're expecting to break out and hide any second. Then again, I suppose a bit of dust is to be expected. Well, this may be our first stop, but it's also the one that links our other destinations together. The props for this show would come here to be finalised for their role. The costumes would be fitted for any special requirements on this very bench. And of course, it is the final bastion between preparation and performance upon the sound stage itself. Yes, there is a great deal of history here. I suppose so, mate, if you say so. The stone double, Brent backflip. Yes. Fell. He did fall. Seat. He did fall, yes. There was a problem, he fell. <laughs> Yes, and if we are to find the truth of this misfortune, we must follow our ethereal guide. And here they are. The spectres call again. Let's see where they will direct us now. Ah, uh, yes, definitely uh, this way. Come along, Mr. Bannon. Uh, I think the ghost must be building up to something really breathtaking. Okay. <laughs>